WJKW TV8 Cleveland. Good evening, I'm Judd Hambrick. Here's what's happening. Police have what they call a good suspect tonight in custody in the Cleveland Mad Bomber case, and this supposedly is what he looks like. The break in the case came last night in the bombing at the Fairmont Elementary School in Beechwood. But just moments before this explosion, a Beechwood patrolman spotted a car speeding from the scene. He radioed for a license check, and later, an arrest was made. As we signed off on New Center 8 tonight at 6 o'clock, Jeff Maynard was at the bomb suspect's apartment as the bomb squad was moving in. Jeff said police uh, uh, knew they might find an arsenal inside. Well, he stayed with that investigation and has a live report right now. Jeff, what did you find in there? Now, Judd, what they found was enough dynamite to level every porno shop in this city and damage many of the schools in the city. Experts from the Cleveland Police Bomb Squad were the men in charge here. A quick look in the suspect's apartment, and they sent out the order. Get everybody out of the building. In a bedroom closet, they'd found a bomb, wired up and ready to go. The pipe bomber had hit two places in two nights, a bookstore in Fairmont School, and he may have had a target set for a third straight night. The explosives experts put the bomb with its 18 sticks of dynamite in their bomb kettle, not knowing now that before the night was through, that kettle would be full. Back inside the apartment, another one, a bigger one, this time a case. 50 pounds of dynamite. Let me give you an idea of what that can do. You've seen them blowing up the ice jams on the Chagrin River in spring. Well, the biggest of those charges that blow chunks of ice into the sky are five pounds. This was 50 pounds. What does it feel like to find out you've been living on top of a bomb factory? Well, I'm on the third floor, and I'll tell you, once I found out that there was a guy below me, I just couldn't believe it. I figured, well, if I'm on the top, then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna either go up or down something, and they just it, the whole thing is just hard to believe. Next stop for the bomb squad was the suspect's place of business, American Business Supply at Miles and Lee Road. The man's lawyer, Richard Kay, was on the scene here. This is a small store. The man ran it without any help, but apparently he did more than just sell typewriter ribbons here. Police carried out nine more cases of dynamite, nine 50-pound cases. They drove it very carefully to an abandoned reservoir where they'll dispose of it tomorrow. Police are spending tonight drawing up a long list of charges against this suspect, a man they're convinced is responsible for at least 14 bombings in Greater Cleveland. This is Jeff Maynard with the New Center 8 Live Report. And in other news tonight, Cleveland police raided and shut down a major outlet for suspected marijuana. News Center 8's Susan Howard was there and went in with police. Susan? Undercover police have watched this operation for some time now, and tonight they made a buy and moved in. Fourth District Undercover Strike Force officers and uniformed police raided this house at 9329 Sherwood Avenue, just south of Buckeye on the east side, and confiscated a large quantity of suspected marijuana. They'd had many complaints about this place, and police told me they couldn't believe the openness of the operation. People even directed traffic out front, and a sign on the back door spelled out everything about what was for sale inside. Very big. Uh, business. It was large volume. We came over early today. We made a buy. And before I could get out of the car, there was one male in front of me and two males in the back of me. As I made my buy, there was three people waiting in line behind me. So it was a big operation. And an open operation. Too. Open operation, correct. Right. 